hello guys and welcome back to my youtube channel this is ben and today uh this class is going to be very special because everything going forward now is based on this class and i want us to go to the rajal portal i know the website is kind of broken right now but we'll just focus our attention to specific patterns that i want us to look at and then we'll come and summarize those patterns and then going forward it will just be very easy for us to navigate through actually once we do this class the others are just going to be very simple i told you this about patterns right so this is now the pattern that i wanted you to, to see so let's go to MPES APIs and we'll start with, let me start with C2B because this is what we're going to do. And then we'll scroll to where we have PHP and you can see here, if you look at this, and I want it to be keen, okay? Let me just zoom it if possible. Okay, so scroll it. It's very unfortunate, it's just broken, but uh, not sure that you're able to see this. But if you look at it, we have curl in it. We have set opt, which is URL which is the URL that we have here, then the header, which is now the access token, authorization and that, then leave alone the body, and then come here, and I look at it this again, from here to actually here. You'll see that we have set opt, set opt, set opt, we're using the same handle, then we're just changing this one to return transfer, post, post fields, that is just on C2B, okay? Let's go to, actually that is what? Very hard to tell right now, but I'm assuming this is uh, this is actually B2B. So we go to C to B, and uh, again, I want you to look at the same same pattern where it is, and you can see the first, I think, four lines, and the last again around six, seven lines, the same. The only thing that changes is the body. If you do that on again B2C, scroll it and go to PHP, you see that the first around four lines, the same body changes but the last four lines are the same so this is just a pattern every api on this planet has a pattern they use a specific way to communicate i mean you just the same code just reuse it okay and this is just a good principle i mean of design so once we have this information it's very nice for us i mean it's easy it's even very easy for us now to first of all extract this method which is do your carrying and the only thing that is changing here is just the url and also the body okay so we can just refactor all this into just one function we write that function and then we will now be building on top of that function actually after doing this you're free to go ahead with uh, after we do the first after we make this method it will you are again going to be free to do the rest okay so what i'm going to do is um it will be easier so let me just go here and i want to create that method just below here and i'll call it make http just like that so i'll just have public we can even have it private because it won't be called from outside this this uh class so public function make h let me just do that http and we have noted that only two things are changing and that is the url and the body or the data or the content okay so let me just call it the body like that Perfect. Now, once we have that, the next thing we need to do is now to focus our attention on what is changing and what is not changing. So I'll just go back here and with a lot of grace, I want to copy everything from here all the way to the end here. And let's paste it there. Perfect. Let's just format it a little like that. Okay. So we already have the body, so we can remove this one. We'll bring it later uh just on the coding and decoding it is it important we can just remove this and we can refactor it into the data string here we can just encode our data uh, body here so json encode and what we want to encode is our data which is our body right body which is a parameter on the function um anything else nothing then we need to remove the echo here to return and then we just need to move again this one and after we execute we need to close so curl close and we are just closing the handle like that so for me uh there is no need of repeating some things that i see are so obvious and the obvious thing is set opt set opt set opt and again we have this one so what i'll use here is set set opt array so curl set set opt curl set opt is one word and then we'll choose array and this one will accept one thing which is the handle and then another array here and this array will contain again everything that we have on the other request so i want to replace everything we have here so what i'll do because you have already used this one i just need this and we'll have it here and instead of a comma here we'll just need to have 
it as an associative array. So we do the same for all of this. So I'll just do uh, this, copy up to here, come with it here, paste it, and then replace this. Then we'll have again this one, paste it there, and then change this from a comma to an array. Then you go to post true, again change this. Then we need this to there, paste it like that. And now we get rid of everything here. So let me confirm this is okay. This is just an uncode body. Something is wrong somewhere. Where? Here. It's supposed to be a comma like that. Then let me again format my document. And then now, guys, as you can see, we have reduced that method to just one thing. Okay. So we have the URL, the header, the return transfer, and post is true, and then the body field. Now, something else that you're going to find here that's very nice is that the access token is here. You see this one? It's hiding. Eh? We need to remove it and we'll create a method that will just return the access token. And I think I'll just reuse what we have uh, just there. So I'll just use, just say this and get access token. And the access token that we were getting initially here was not access token, it was just returning the whole body. So we just need to access the access token like that. Okay, so we have already filled that, it's already inside, and everything is done. The next thing we don't need is this URL, because each request will be coming with that URL here, and then the body, and then we'll get the response, which is what we're going to utilize. That is a pattern that is employed on all, on the whole of Daraja, actually it's based on that. I think the only hard part of Daraja is just decoding the responses. The other way sending is still very simple, right? Yeah, so... This class will just be about this, so you can go digest, think about it and see if we've made it right or we've made it worse, and then hit me up on the comment section, okay? So we said these videos are just going to be very small, small videos, but making sense. Yeah, so that marks the end of this uh, other class. So we meet again uh, to uh, in our next class, and then now we'll start now doing, the first one will be definitely be C2B, then we'll do SDK, then we'll do B2C. B2B has already been removed from the platform, so we are not going to do B2B. So we'll do C2B, SDK, and the B2C, then we'll do reversal, transaction status, balance, and we'll be through, okay? Yeah, so once we have this, we can even combine the others. There's no problem, but this is just the main part. Otherwise, let me see you tomorrow on this same same class, we proceed with C2B register URL, and then we do simulation. Until tomorrow, or the next class, thank you very much, and I hope you'll subscribe and leave a comment below. Thank you very much, and let's meet.